One of the main goals of my course, The Body and Global Histories of Medicine, is that I want students to be able to read the body in different ways. And the way they read the body is not so much reading it in text, reading in primary sources and secondary sources, but seeing images of the body, seeing how they're represented across time and place. So we've been able to go to the MFA and work with curators there to look at how representations of beautiful and ugly bodies are both incorporated into medical texts. So beautiful ideal bodies of gods that are supposed to be healthy, but these are bodies that don't exist because they are of gods, of muscular perfect um, bodies. And then looking at diseased bodies, how does disease and illness and dissection play into tropes of ugliness? But then how do they come back together in a European context? The class itself has students who are engineering majors and sociology majors and medical humanity minors. They come in asking about histories of alternative medicine, but I tend to um, find histories that break apart what alternative might mean and we get into the details and the techniques of something like pulse taking and comparing pulse taking in classical forms of Chinese medicine with classical forms of Greek medicine and how these diverge and then converge. And then their main assignment is that they pick an image of a body and they do a re-illustration of it. They draw it by hand and they can reproduce it and scale it and then use that process to ask new questions about guts and about gender and about illnesses and develop a research paper out of that and then from the research paper distill it back into a podcast so they can think about how to talk about bodies because part of history is also about narrative and how we share those narratives with each other in a way that doesn't orientalize or otherize uh, or exoticize bodies. Mm -hmm.